Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we are playing Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy. I have played it before on the channel, so if you want to, you can go back and check those out. If not, that's okay too. I did stop playing it because I felt like it wasn't doing as well as other stuff on the channel, but I've been wanting to play it and I figured you guys might like it since I've been doing a lot of choice-based games and stuff like that. So, we're going to give it another go. Ten years. Why is he down there? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I messed up the graphics. I was like, what is going on? I don't even know who died, by the way. This has not been revealed, so... Don't worry, we're all as clueless as each other. Am I supposed to be moving here? Let me get my controller. Is it the controller? That oh, it is the controller. I was like, this is a really long, drawn-out cutscene of him standing still. Oh, a playing card. I love when I find playing cards at the graveyard. Ah, 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 ah. I hope it's Charmander. How am I supposed to find a grave when I don't even know what I'm looking for? I just got another life, apparently. <laughs> I guess they just sucked up someone's life from the graveyard. I keep showing that statue. Wait, who's that person? I'm happy that you- Oh, okay, good. I found him. <laughs> my complete accident and he tried to jump scare me, but I found him. I guess these are my parents. I don't know. Oh god, am I having a blackout or something? Or is it a flashback? Oh, it's a flashback. Then we can actually learn what's going on. Oh god, he's a creepy kid. You coming? I don't want to, Marcus. Leave me alone. Are we in Fallout all of a sudden? I'm pretty sure this is Fallout where I blew up those kids in the school. Fire in the hole. Oh god, how many did I kill? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> this game never answers questions. It's impossible to follow because instead of answers, it just gives you more questions every time. What the feck was that? Jesus Christ, what is going on? Get ready, it says. <laughs> I don't know how to play this. Ah, <laughs> good, I'm glad you died. You shouldn't be in there. Wait, did he actually die? Oh, ran into a pole, the only thing in the entire area. It's literally a wasteland, and I walked into the only object there. Sir, my brother and some other kids are in Hangar 4, and it's gonna burn. You've got to go help them, please. Go on, get out of here, kid. <laughs> oh my god, why would you disregard that? Okay, I can't climb, apparently. All my characters are just so stupid, they can't perform basic functions. Wait, why are you crouching down? Are we sneaking now? I find it hard to believe that trained soldiers, in those watchtowers even, wouldn't spot me. <laughs> Look at him, he's not even looking at the feckin' gate. Don't move or I'll shoot! You're not even looking at me! He was literally looking the other way! <laughs> I also love how he threatened to shoot this kid, like, he's clearly harmless. It's like, ah, you're one of them, they're terrorists. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone would be dead by now. I'm taking a long time to get there. Don't move or I'll shoot. Why? How? Uh, how is he spotting me? I don't understand how this game works. <laughs> they have a little view distance thing on them, but it doesn't seem to actually mean anything. Don't move or I'll shoot. Back off. I'm gonna move the same time as the truck. There we go. Truck drivers don't care. Don't move or I'll shoot. Okay, apparently someone in the far distance does though. Just get knocked down, who gives a shit? Yeah, that guy's spotting me from a feckin' mile away. Stealth is not this game's strong point. Or else I am not very good at this game, one or the other. Don't move or I'll shoot! Please just shoot me! <laughs> like, I must have to use the truck, cause why else would it pull out like that? God knows why the truck driver is completely blind. I kinda like it, they're accepting of everyone. The truck's windscreen is written in braille and describes what's outside. Right, just keep going, yeah, just walk into that truck, yeah, just get some distance away. Alright, let's go. Holy crap, it actually worked. Okay, I think I'm home free, thank Christ. They're probably gonna have die from starvation by the time I get in there. What are you doing here? I thought you didn't want to play. Get out of here now, Marcus. The hangar's going to explode. <laughs> that reading, I loved it. And then emotion. I don't really want to save the others. Can I just let them die? Da -da 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 -da. I'm going to leave. Oh, it won't let me. Oh, I see one up there. Look at him. Why is he hiding? If I hide here, maybe the fire won't find me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Look at him. Get out. You need to get out of here, Kurt. The hangar's gonna blow. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Why does no one believe me? Alright, flee. I don't give a shit. I gotta get out of here before everything explodes. <laughs> I didn't even attempt to find the others. Just feck them. Lucas, are you hurt? He shoves my head in the sand. Are you hurt, you little shit? They, they stayed in the hangar. I did everything I could, Marcus. I did everything. <laughs> 
I didn't manage to get them all out. You're a little liar. He even smiled at the end there. You know they'll never believe that. I know. <laughs> he gives a little smile. He's a creepy little shit. God, that soldier must be like fleeing the base right now. Like, why didn't I believe that kid? I thought it was just one of those kid jokes where they say like somewhere's burning up and that people are gonna die, you know? Boys will be boys. <laughs> all right, who do we want to be? Be Tyler. He's in the gym pumping iron. I have some shit on my mind. Oh, he actually is. Let me know when you're ready. Oh, I hope we can do a boxing match. Oh, I've started my jog. Unfortunately, this game is very hard to control and the directions don't really make any sense, so it's gonna be a bit of a bumpy one. One. <laughs> oh, that's me done. <laughs> Oof, I'm pooped. Better do some mat work. One. <laughs> Better than that, Connor's gonna mess my shit up. No, that's enough. <laughs> She's like, wow, he's good. <laughs> Better take a drink. I'm dehydrated. One. I was gonna say quick time events got a lot better than this recently, but I was just playing Heavy Rain where I had to quick time breathe for my guy, so I don't know. Oh my god, come on, finish. All right, we good to go? We good to box? Yes, let's, let's box. Okay. <laughs> that was pretty short. I think I'm fighting an android. Wait, do I have to do her warm-up now, too? Oh, sweet bejesus. Why couldn't she be doing it herself? They're useless. One. No, oh, if only they died in a fire. Her arms aren't even on the pads. What's she doing? <laughs> All wrist power, baby. <laughs> Jesus, how much weight is she lifting? Fucking hell, she's lifting the whole thing. All right, let's go. Wait, I want to fight as the other guy. I think he has the weight advantage. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to... These people are lame. They're lamer than me, and that's like extreme. Okay, what's he practicing for? Is this their fight? It's just a dance-off? Something tells me I'm gonna lose this. You know why? Because I'm gonna do feck all. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Okay, I, I'm Carla anyway, because he's just wrecking me. Alright, let's see what I do when I get something. Okay, I failed anyway. <laughs> the best strategy is just to not take part, because then I can't fail. Like, they really go all out, don't they? And he gets pleasure from it. Like, they're sparring, they're beating the shit out of each other, and this is attempted murder, pretty much. Oh god, I've definitely, like, dislodged her head. He didn't even help her, he just kinda put his hand near her as she was getting up. Wanna go again? Uh, no, I think I'm good. <laughs> I mean, I really could. I'm really strong and stuff, but I got some stuff I gotta do. And get back to work. Yeah, I got work. <laughs> All right, back to the police station. Hopefully I don't get beaten up there, too. I've had a rough day. Do you think there's much chance he'll kill again? Uh, yeah, for sure. I'm just picking random options just to mess up their investigation. He is so trendy. Everything from his fashion sense to the way he walks. Look at those hips. As far back as I can remember. Been frightened by the NYPD has a dungeon. I like how the dramatic cutscene has a floating card right there. Press the L and R button to make Carla breathe. Oh my god, just what I was saying earlier. All right, no, I don't want to make her cam. She's fine. She's got to work past this by herself. <laughs> <I'm freaking> <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough <laughs> after two seconds in there. I can't take it. Oh god, I've made her depressed. The thing is, that place is no smaller than this place. Alright, it is time to leave. There's no way I'm leaving here empty-handed. Oh god. Wait, I don't understand this. Okay, I've failed anyway, even though I tried. I'll just swap to the other guy. Oh my god, she's wrecked. What the hell? Okay, I just gave up. Oh my god, is she quitting? She's handing in her badge. Can I continue from the last save? <laughs> I made her feckin' quit just from going to the basement. Like, I get it, it's a bad fear to have if you're a cop, but at the same time, would you just give up your entire job just because you don't want to go in that basement? Oh my god, that breathing. Very good, very good. <laughs> the feckin' breathing! Like, you start to panic, so you just go... <laughs> okay, I think we got it. This part was confusing. Oh, great. Seems like a horrible system, you know, for a police station. You'd think they'd be a little bit better. Yeah, like, look at this. A button hidden behind these massive shelves. This makes no feckin' sense. And this is to turn on the computer over there. It's literally a puzzle to get to any files you want. This is not a good system, I'm telling you, lady. You need to get to work on fixing this shit. I think I found it. 
Oh, thank God. <sighs> Not only was the puzzle annoying, but I hated breathing for her. This is just the game you want to play if you want to feel like a life support machine. Why didn't she do this and I could have done the basement thing, you know? Why does it play this funky music every time you play as this guy? Look how trendy and hip he is, you guys. To be honest, I wish this would play every time I walked around. Cough at him. <coughs> oh, oh, I am oh yeah, as if you didn't hear me come in. All that funky jazz. It was so loud. You come like my pet up? I have no idea what he's saying. Okay, okay, calm down. I'm not here to bust you. If you knock on wood, you go now. This I'm not gonna do the quick time events. I don't want to. That was interesting. <laughs> is that that segment over? Ah, uh, maybe there is something. Oh wait, no. I mean, I was just gonna leave, but if you insist, he was just like, "Oh God, if he just leaves, we can't advance the story. I better call him back." Bring back the sacred diamond of the old sage of the mountain, and he will give you the magic talisman. Oh man. What am I, in a video game? Oh, he's becoming self-aware. He's like, that would explain why Funky Jazz plays whenever I'm walking around the place. A torn piece of paper. Looks like a... Did I do it? I have no idea. Please tell me that bit is done, because I have no idea what's going on. I'm just going to attempt to leave now. Just like I left those kids burn in the hangar. Now I could go back... Oh, for feck's sake. But maybe Takeo could have told me a little more? No, probably not. Leave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're at someone's house. Who knows who? Here it is. Here what is though? Why, why are we here? Nobody knows. Why Christ? Well, there must be someone here if all these birds are still alive. I imagine you had a house big enough to just have a bird room. Hell is oh wait, yeah, didn't the brother say something about sending me to some woman to talk about my, my seeing the future shit? I don't know. <laughs> something like that. Is this how you greet all your clients? You just wait in your bedroom? You know, lady, you're there in your wheelchair, but outside there were steps leading up to your door, and there's no way you could go down them in your chair. What kind of scam are you trying to pull? <laughs> You just pull her out of the chair and she collapses. Oh, sorry. I thought it was a con. Push me over to my birds. It'll be more comfortable for us to talk over there. Will it? I don't see why. Maybe it'll be comfortable for you, but it'll be creepy as shit for me. All right, let's go. Let's take her on a little spin. Whee! <laughs> just straight into the wall. I don't even open the door. I just ram her legs into it. I killed a man. It was like I was possessed. I watched it all happen, but I had no control over my actions. Sounds like a rather commonplace story to me. <laughs> it's common, is it? Maybe I'm the weird one for thinking this story is strange then. In the cupboard, you will find a little bag of seeds. Ah, good. That'll solve my issues. Thank you. Oh, wait, they're for the birds. Okay, I thought that was my cure. I was hoping for an easy way out, to. Like, I'm not taking the piss, but how does she even reach some of these birds from her wheelchair? These things are gonna starve. I'm not feeding the last one. <laughs> She'll never know. <laughs> Have you had any odd dreams or visions? This is a bit of an odd vision, if you don't mind me saying. <laughs> Strange old blind lady in a wheelchair in a room full of birds. There's only one way for me to be sure. Please, push me into the sitting room. She's just getting her feckin' chores done, that's what this is. Next she'll be like, there's only one way to be 100%. You'll have to unclog the toilet. <laughs> I was gonna say, why does she live in such a creepy house, but I guess she can't see any of it. She probably thinks it's feckin' glorious. All bright and fancy. Weird shit everywhere. <laughs> I'm judging this blind lady's house a bit too much. Really? You're gonna make me light every single one of them? God damn it, game. Do I have to breathe for him too now? Oh, God damn it! why did I close the curtains before turning off the light? I can't find it now. It's to try to go deep into your unconscious memory. Oh, you don't want to see the things I've done. <laughs> She'd see like a montage of me killing so many people in video games. Oh, Margaret died. That was to be expected, I suppose. It's definitely an efficient way of killing people off. People don't even know which dead body to go to. <laughs> This okay, stuff may have gone wrong. Be careful where you look with that camera now. This is the guy I murdered if you didn't watch the other videos. The guy was possessed apparently and he murdered him. He doesn't see me. I don't know how he doesn't feckin' see me because the mirror is right there. Like he had a long time to notice me. Look at that. Ta-da! <laughs> Are you proud of me now, Kevin? Are you proud of me now? <laughs> I guess this is whoever possessed me. you say? It's a passage from Shakespeare's Tempest. This is stressing me out having to do this constant quick time event. Good thing I'm a master of bop it. <laughs> no. 
master, not the lander, Catherine. I know you speak English, dude. You were just speaking it. <laughs> He's going out the rear door. Oh, there's too much quick time events. It's stressing me out. Okay. <laughs> it's like a very low budget student film. You know who that man was, don't you, Agatha? No. I don't know. <laughs> very I'm convincing, sure. Agatha. What do these symbols mean, Agatha? Beat her up. Give her an uppercut. She'll talk. Come back tomorrow night at the same time. I'll explain more then. Oh, for feck's sake, I have to do more of that? God damn it. That didn't answer anything. <laughs> If you didn't watch the other two episodes, don't worry about it, because this game just keeps hurling questions at you. But I think we're going to end it there for today. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see more, because I'd be interested in finishing the game. As I said, I'll link out to the other videos as well, if you do want to catch up on the story. But as I already made clear, it, it's very confusing. All I know is some kids died. That was fun. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate you as always, folks, and I will see you next time. So bye for now.